All right, so we're checking out the new um, Express LRS modules from Happy Mile. These are the Pro Series. I have the micro version here and the nano version. So micro and nano refers to the module size. So the uh, micro version here um, is mostly plastic. And yeah, pretty much all plastic here for the uh, module cover. But the nano version is uh, pretty much all metal. I think it's some kind of aluminum. It does uh, feel heavier and quite um, robust, pretty strong looking. Now where it grabs onto the module bay with these uh, metal clips, it does, um, it is a very tight fit. So uh, I have broken actually some of these clips on some of these module bays with this one because it's a little bit too tight. So something to keep in mind if you want to have a module that's gonna be you're able to take on and off. Uh, so with the Pro Series is now uh, one watt capable for both of these. They both have LEDs and cooling fans. No screens or OLED, or no OLED screens or joystick buttons for either of these. And these both came with version one firmware. So I did have to update them to version two. Um, I updated the nano module here with the micro USB port there using the UART method, and that worked fine. You have to select the Pro Series uh, target in Express LRS um, for uh, version 2.0.1. Now the micro module, as you can see, does not have any kind of USB port. So you have to um, do the Wi-Fi method in this one. And uh, since this was on version one when I got it, I had to use the version one Lua script to put this into Wi-Fi update mode. And then I connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot at the 10.0.0.1 address. And I compiled the firmware and created the firmware.bin file in the configurator. And I used the Wi-Fi method, but I did not use the build and flash just to build. And then it would open up a folder with the bin file and I actually saved it to my phone and then connected to the Wi-Fi hotspot with my phone and uploaded the firmware uh, to the uh, module that way. It's pretty typical of a lot of other Express LRS modules that use the Wi-Fi update method. I know that there's always gonna be someone out there who's gonna be like, hey, can you make a specific video for this specific module for my specific hardware? And I've already made some videos in the past on other updates for other modules, and this is pretty similar to those. Also, you can follow all the instructions on the expresslrs.org website. There's several different methods outlined there that explains everything on how to do the updates. So you're not gonna see a specific video for your exact setup um, on my channel. So if you if you need someone to do that, you should probably ask someone else to make a video for you for that. But um, it, if you look at the uh, playlist link in the video description, you might be able to find an older video that actually has it a little bit more detail on how to do the update because I've done those videos in the past. Now you notice here that the um, micro module comes with the new Moxon antenna, which looks like this. And uh, it's SMA, of course. All Express LRS modules have SMA antennas. This is yet another one. Now, when I received my sample for review for the slim module here, this came with a standard like T antenna, also SMA. And um, I believe now if you buy this, um, it will come with a new antenna. So if you're wondering about it, unless you know, a store has old inventory, you might get the old version with this T antenna. Mm, the difference in terms of gain is not much. I think this is a 4 dB, and I think this one's like a 2.7 dB antenna. So you know, unless you're really looking for a super long range, I'd probably just go for um, the micro version. You know, they're both one watt, so you know, you're gonna probably get the new antenna. So you know, it really doesn't matter, I think, at that point. And just looking at the uh, profile of this module compared to the Naminno, you can see it's a thinner profile. Obviously it doesn't have a screen or anything like that. But I think the Beta FPV is also like this, kind of thin, doesn't stick out as much out of the back of the radio. So for some of you guys who are worried about that. Um, and also in terms of the fit, you know, some modules will fit better than others. It really depends on the radio because every, it's, it's the, you're gonna see some differences in the sizes of the module itself. Also differences in the size of the module bay based on which radio you use, because not every radio has the exact same module size bay. 
So something to keep in mind. But I didn't have any problems with this in terms of the radios I use. It fit fine. I know that some QX7s, I think uh, older revisions of those have tighter module bays, and some of these newer modules have a hard time fitting into those. I think that's a problem with the radio. Some radios have module bays that are not sized correctly. So most of the modules I've had have been working in the radios I've used. So something to keep in mind there. Okay, so I just want to show you um, what the fan sounds like. So this is, I see, the, you know, Heavy Model ES24TX Pro. And go ahead and turn the transmitter power up because right now, I think the power is at 100 milliwatts and no fan is on. So it makes no noise. And we'll go ahead and boost up the power here. So it's 500 milliwatts. So it's a pretty noisy fan. Take up the one watt. And yeah, it's pretty much the same noise. And just to show you that we are now on version 2.01 on this module. All right, so I'm going to show you the uh, uh, fan noise on the slim module here. I'm using a nano to micro adapter. So also on 2.01. Take it up to 500 milliwatts. So this is smaller, it's got a smaller fan, so it's not nearly as noisy. And here it is on one watt. But keep in mind while the fan's smaller and not as noisy, maybe there's not as much cooling and this will get a lot warmer. So it is all metal. So if you're holding the radio, you probably want to be careful you're not touching it with your hand if you're at the full one watt uh, power rating. All right, so here's a quick look inside the micro module. And so I know in the uh, Nomino and the Happy Model modules, the heat sink is on the wrong side or the opposite side of the chips. Looks like they have done this correctly on this one. Looks like the heat sink here is on top of the chips. You got your micro FL connector there, a 2 SMA adapter. Here's the fan, pretty tiny. And the connector to the board for the fan. So yeah, this is um, looks like a pretty solid design. It looks like the heat dissipation should be pretty good on this one. And I think people will not complain about the fan blowing on the wrong direction, but it is a pretty loud fan nevertheless. On the nano module, this is what it looks like. So there's no heat sink. I think basically this all metal casing is acting as a heat sink because it does get pretty warm on high power. And you see, I think this is a pretty similar, very small fan. But anyway, yeah, that, you know, I just have the board here with all the chips on it. No heat sink that I can see. There might be, you know, maybe something underneath here on this side. But I think that they are basically using the casing as a heat sink. And the fan is blowing air on top of the chips to cool it down. But this will get a fair bit warmer because, you know, again, the casing is acting as the heat sink. Okay, so that's going to cover for this video. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about these two new modules. Again, you know, there's a lot of modules out now and more coming. They have a lot of same similar features, so check the Express LRS um, playlist down in the video description as well as the website uh, expresslrs.org. They have lots of information about how to flash and update all of these modules and more information there. But um, for the most part, you know, these will perform the same as most of the other ones out there. It just kind of depends on whether you like the design and whether or not it's going to fit your radio, etc. those kind of things. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.